Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the Git timer elapsed node? So our Git timer elapsed node. Basically, there's two versions. There's the Git timer elapsed time by handle, and then if we do elapsed and spell it properly. We're going to get the timer elapsed by function name. Now the function name version is an older deprecated version. We should not be using it anymore. Timers added in the timer handle. The timer handle is a variable as an output pin on your set timers. And you should always store it for later if you intend on doing something with the timer. In this case, I'm saving it to a variable called timer handle. And that is what I'm going to use for my input on my get time or get timer elapsed time by handle. So we will not be covering the get timer elapsed time by function name as it is not as safe and no longer needed. So like I said, we have an input of a timer handle and our output is going to be a return value in a float, which is basically how much time has elapsed from the start of this timer. And that's it. So if we go ahead and play this example to see what we mean, what I'm doing here is I'm flipping between pausing and unpausing, and then I will print out the time elapsed. Go ahead and hit play, and we'll start up our timer. And our timer is going to just simply count up every second. When I hit stop, it's going to tell me how much time has passed since the time we started. Let's go ahead and let's make this a little bit longer on our screen. Let's go with something like six seconds. There we go. We'll hit play. And now it's going to last longer. So it's going to tell us the amount of time since the start of the timer. 0.39 seconds. Now if I go ahead and unpause it, it's still been 0.39 seconds. Our timer has been paused, so therefore the time hasn't changed. And what I'm going to do is try to get as close to the next second as possible. There we go, 0.92. So remember, I'm going from 0 to 1 on my timer, and this is just the elapsed time. That's it. That's all it is. It's telling us how much time has elapsed. Maybe you're running, like this is a health regen, and maybe you want to see how close you are to the next tip when the timer gets invalidated. Maybe they get, went into combat, and you want to be nice and give them one extra tick of health. Or maybe you need to see how much time has gone by and you want to do a percentage. Maybe your timer runs for 10 seconds, and depending on how much time elapsed, you're gonna give your player a percentage rather than the full amount based on how much time has elapsed. So that's what you can do. Get your timer handle, figure out how much time is left, and it will give you a float value based on how much time has elapsed on this handle from the time it started.